All right, guys, so we just pulled up to the first one over here. Right, right, right. So we just pulled up to the first one. Just a little, just a little granny yard. Uh, So I got the same guy working for me today that was out here yesterday. Seems to be in a little better space today than what he was yesterday. So we'll see. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. We're gonna do this one out here real quick. And uh, I don't really know if I'm gonna get any footage over here because we're kind of in a hurry. But uh, this is just the first one of the day. Uh, I'm more concerned about watching the damn help than anything else. This is Ray signing off for now. Okay, y'all, Ray, Ray's landscaping. So we just got done with the first one, and uh, yeah, uh, I don't really, I didn't really do no video on the actual mow. Uh, it's just cleaning up leaves, and this is a regular customer of mine, and we do, uh, we do this yard uh, on the regular. And grab this weedy to put it in the rack. We do this yard on the regular anyway. Uh, you know, so I don't really charge them much more. I think I think this is a seventy dollar. Uh, I have to look at my lid. I'm pretty sure it's seventy on the winter on the on the first uh, winter cleanup here. So uh, So this is a $70 property. It took me and my guy about 40 minutes. So, uh, it's not real good, but uh, you know, it's not it's not that bad either, uh, considering we're right next door to the next one. Anyway, it's Ray Ray's Landscaping signing off. Okay, guys, Ray Ray's Landscaping. So we just pulled up a second one, and look, look at all the leaves, man. Uh. So what we'll do this time, since I see that I got so many more leaves to get down, uh, is I'm going to blow. Let me get this ramp up. Bo's going to grab the one blower and go around back, and he knows what he's got to blow. And I'm going to blow. I'm going to blow all this stuff out where I can get it with a mower. I'm going to show y'all how we remove leaves with a, with a lawn mower. Uh, I know you can buy buy a high price blower. You know ride on and all that but i think that's almost uh, unless you're doing parking lots that's almost a waste of money because i can make a lawnmower do pretty doggone good on on pushing leaves and all that so you'll see how we get leaves up in the bundles and uh, uh and that's how we're going to do it today i'm gonna put y'all on uh time lapse right here on the trailer so y'all can watch me do this it's ray ray's landscaping and i'll be back All right, y'all, so it's not perfect, but I know uh, we got a lot of leaves still coming down. So you want to, ain't no sense in doing a deep, deep thing. So we got this cleaned up. Uh, looks pretty good over here. Just a typical little cleanup real quick, you know, and, and we know we got to come back. so. I don't ever do a great big deep leaf clean when I know I gotta come back. You know? so normally I do this property and uh, I do just do that property over there too, but not today. They don't have any leaves. So uh, I'm just kind of riding and kind of showing you guys. Uh, yeah. 
So all we really got to do is blow this out right here. And that's it. So yeah, we're cooking with gas. I'll probably end up grabbing the blower and blowing that over there real quick. Anyway, uh, so far my guy's doing pretty good today. He ain't got on my nerves yet. So, and we on the second property. So we got three great big ones to do, and then that's going to be it after this one. It's Ray, and uh, I'll get back with you. Hey guys, okay, so we got done with this one. Uh, this is the mower right here. Uh, I don't, I don't normally run this mower. Uh, it's, uh, I think it's the 30. I think it's, oh, this mower right here is 37 horsepower. So uh, I don't usually use it. Uh, my guy usually uses it on the other truck. It's the first time I've ran it. Uh, in a while you know uh and i'm noticing some things about it i think that one of the baffles are uh one of the baffles on the deck because their shit comes all up under here that this baffle right here it's uh the baffle inside there it's bad uh okay guys we just pulled up on uh the three big ones Got gas in it? I'm gonna do that one right there. Do I need to start it? No, I got it. Mo, I'd rather you start up at the house and come out. The guys just won't listen, man. I mean, it's not rocket science, y'all. It's just, I mean, he, he gonna do what he wanna do. See, I told him, so by the time, by the time he gets up to the house, y'all, the string, he gonna need string on the weed eater, watch. He just does, woo! He just does such stupid. We got an edger for all that. Watch there be no string on the weed eater. I guarantee freaking tea it. He's gonna get all the way around back and run out of string. Crazy. Just don't listen man to nothing nobody says and see that's what's the bad part about having guys that work for you uh, uh you know Woo! so it just it just burns me up man to no end i'm gonna go over here and say something it's ridiculous. you gotta do that but i know i know that i know that that damn thing's gonna run out of the train I'm really not sure about what part of the, just the house because we got an edger for that. You're gonna run out of string and when you get around back, you're gonna be out of string. Then you're gonna have to walk all the way back to the truck to string it. We got an edger for the driveway. Just, I just want you to get where the mower can't get. Look, all this, up, I mean, it's a shame that I gotta tell you after, oh, I know, I know. But, but you're not doing what I'm asking you to do. You're doing what, yeah, but you're doing what you wanna do, which is stopping me from doing what I need to be doing. Yeah, but I don't want you to do the edge of the driveway with the weed eater. When you got to go around back, we got an edger, dude. See, it's just stupid shit, man. You know, it's it's, it's avoidable. Do what the fuck I tell you to do when I'm paying you. You know, you want twenty bucks an hour, but you want to do what the fuck you want to do. I know that he's gonna run out of string now, and when he does, you got to go all walk all the way back to the truck from way in the back back there. It's just stupid shit like that. It just drives me fucking crazy, man. I mean, and I get too worked up about shit, man. But I know how he is. I know how he's gonna want his money and all that. So, you know. Anyway, y'all. So, I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of show you guys. See, this is it. Ray or Ray's landscaping. So, this is that sweet spot I keep talking about in lawn work. See this Georgia grass right here? I'm not gonna have to do anything, but I'm making the same money over here. It's just nothing but uh, all these yards. I'm doing that one, this one right here, and then we're doing this one right here. And all that big field over there on the other side, and there's a lot in the back too. Uh, 
just getting my guy to do what to, to do his part. See, if I had a guy out here that would just think about what he's doing and not waste time doing what he want to do and listen to what the dude is paying. I always listen to what the guy, the, the, whoever's paying me, that's who I listen to. When I'm on a property and uh, the homeowner comes out or whoever's paying me comes out and tells me to do something different, then that's what I do. I don't, I'm not going to continue to do what they or don't want me to do. You know, and that's the same thing I ask for my help. I want them to do what the hell I tell them to do. Because only I know what me and the agreement of the customer is. So when he, I get guys out here that want to do what the hell they want to do, then why in the world would he edge that right there with a weed eater? You know, when we got an edger. I know we can weed eat it with an edger, but not like that, not without wearing a string out. He's not even standing the weed eater up sideways. So, and I wouldn't have him do that long driveway like that. We would do that with the edger. But we'll do that if we have, if we, if we have time at the end. The, the grass is not growing aggressive enough to, to, to require that, you know? And they're not paying me enough to do that every time. So, you know, he's gonna run out of string when he gets around back and he's gonna have to walk all the way from behind this house over here back to the truck and then he's gonna cry about how tired he is by the end of the day and see he wants to do shit his way that shit just drives me crazy y'all anyway I'm finna get started on this one right here I'm gonna get the other mower off uh, we got two mowers over here two 60 inch X smart mowers we got two BR 700 blowers and we finna get to it y'all uh, so this is Ray uh, and I'll get back with you hey guys Ray's Ray landscaping uh, so I'm over here at this property, and this is what I'm talking about, the sweet spot. So this orange of grass here, we know, I mean, I have not cut it yet. So the time that I spend, uh, you know, blowing out cubby holes with leaves and stuff, that's the time that I save, really, uh, because I don't have to cut this right here, or I go over it really high and really fast. So uh, I'm going to set you guys up right here to where y'all can watch me cut. Uh, this right here uh, and you got to go through the motions you know uh, I know that it doesn't need cutting but uh, the mower makes it where it'll have nice lines and stuff in it going into the off season and that's what the customer wants wants I got to make sure my guy over there is cutting is doing right he's starting to act stupid uh, but anyway I'm gonna set you up do a time lapse right here and uh, uh, and keep going So guys, I know this is a big property, you know. Uh, you can see all of this, and uh, and whenever you have uh, a big properties like this, and where it's costing the people, you know, a couple hundred bucks just for a cut, most of the time what ends up happening, especially usually they'll buy the, they'll they'll have you come in when they first buy the property, and they'll have you cut. But then what ends up happening usually, once they see once once you cut it for a minute, especially when they're new owners, they end up doing something like this. They end up buying a lawnmower. This looks like a new Cub Cadet to me. Uh, it's got the foot pedal. It's got the it's got the uh, uh, fabricated deck. Of course, it's not an X Mark machine, but uh, it's got a twin twin. Uh, 24 horsepower on it so uh yeah so what that tells me y'all is that this season that i just did might be the last season usually two things one or two things happen either you lose the customer because they want to do it themselves or you gain the customer even more because they realize how much work is involved in maintaining it so on a property like this i would say that it's probably more uh uh, uh, it, I, I don't think it's about money because uh, they seem to have money and uh, I've been doing this property for about five years but these people just bought it uh, at the end, you know in the middle of the summer this year so we'll just have to see what uh, what the future holds over here uh, it's not that lucrative of a job but I got a feeling that with this little mower he's gonna wear this little mower out uh, trying to maintain a property like this. Uh, 
I don't know what size the deck is. It looks like it's about a 52 or it's a 54. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the new Cub Cadet, I guess, uh, the ZT-1. Uh, it looks like a, a high-end homeowner edition. Uh, I don't think it can compete with this mower, with this X Mark X Series 60-inch. But I'm going to set you guys up right here. I'm going to put you on the end of one of these bikes right here where y'all can watch this thing. This mower lay these lines right here and get all these leaves up this way. So, it's Ray, and uh, I'm going to put it on, uh, you know, time lapse. Hey guys, Ray Ray's Landscaping. So we're in the midst of these three, uh, right in the middle of doing them. We got this one over here done. Uh, we just got to blow off the driveway and stuff on that one. Uh, I got the one back over there uh, done. Uh, we got to do a little blowing off and we got to cut the field in the back. Uh, we still got a pretty good bit of cutting to do. I say we'll be over here at least another hour and 20 minutes, maybe an hour and a half. So, uh, yeah, y'all. It's pretty freaking cold. It doesn't seem like it's getting any warmer. You know, usually, uh, I don't usually uh, freeze on the damn mowers, but, you know, it is what it is, man. We're going to get it done today. We got, all we got to do is wrap up these two over here. We're completely done with this one except for blowing off. So, Bo's going, I'm going to have Bo blow, blow off. And, uh, yeah. Uh, probably put him on the video for a second, you know. Let y'all uh, meet Bo Weiser, Bo. Uh, he's a real damn mental health patient, for real. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. It's one o'clock. We calculated probably about three hours on these, maybe an hour, uh, you know, maybe an hour on each one, maybe an hour and 15 minutes on each one. Uh, something like that, you know, on average. Keep in mind too, we're not bagging it or nothing. All we're doing is just uh, mulching things up and everything. We know we gotta come back because if you look up in the trees, there's a lot of leaves left to come. So we still got to do that. We ain't even started on this one. So, and there's a lot of cutting. But you got to go all the way over there. All the way over there, you know. So, there's a lot of cutting over here. Anyway. I'll get back with you. Bo, how you feeling, man? It's cold out there, ain't it? Yeah. Your fingers cold? What you got to eat, man? Cookie, okay, I'm a cookie man. Can you buddy have a cookie man? Those two of them? Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Where'd you get them at the store up there? Uh, a while ago? Uh, barn. Oh, man. Are they stale? Oh, honey. A little better than nothing. Thanks, man. So, really, all we got left to do on this one is blow, right? This one's done. Yeah, and all we got left to do on this one over here is, is the back piece. All the, over there. Yeah, all the front's done, all the back's done, all that side over there's done. Uh, so, and then this, we gotta do this whole thing right here. This one right here, it'll go a little bit faster because we have both mowers on it. You know, it, it's, it, I'll start moving a little faster now. Okay, y'all, it's Ray Ray's Landscaping. Me and Bo, we just got done with these three big ones. You can see, I ain't walking around no more. It's too freaking cold, man. Uh, we know there's some more leaves coming down, so basically all I did was just mulch them up. Uh, I got a little time-lapse video, too. And so we did this one right here. We did that one right there. And then we did that one right here. So, yeah, y'all. He did good. Bo did, did good today. He didn't make me mad today. Yeah. He did good today, so, I, good today. I mean, what do you do, man? Hey. 
you know, we're glad to get done hey, with all yeah, these yards. And uh, no, we didn't do 20. Yeah, I got we just did five. So but five lucrative ones. This is Ray. Thank you.